Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. I'm very excited. We're going to the Bilo opening this morning in our little small town. And there's some super deals. I looked up their flyer online and they sent a $5 coupon to everybody, I guess sort of in town here. So I get $5 off whatever I buy anyway. So I've also got a couple of coupons on uh, almond milk. So I'm very excited. It's about six minutes to seven right now and the sun isn't quite up yet. So we're gonna get on over there and see what's cracking. We'll be back. Okay, here we are. Very exciting. Not many cars in the parking lot. It looks like the people that work their cars. Look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. Anyway, it looks like they're already open. I still I already see people in there. All right, it's about three or four minutes till seven. And we are ready to shop. See y'all in a minute. All right, I'm here at the door and it's about two minutes till or less. And here comes the guy, I think, to open the door. All right, come on, guy. Hurry up. We're here. Oh, it's cold out here. Come on. Ah, uh, it's not opening up yet. All right, we're in. Very nice. Very nice. Fresh flowers. Oh, I'm going to have to buy some bananas because I ran out of bananas and didn't have room enough in my freezer to buy any more since I'm going to be buying turkey and all that. So, all right, 59 cents. That's an okay price. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I've got the store almost to myself. Isn't that great? Yeah, all right, I need to get some... Um, Silk Soy. I've got two coupons, so I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get their butter, which is on sale also, so I've got a lot of things to do. We'll be back in a little while. Okay, I'm looking for the, uh, the Grey Poupon Mustard, the Southern Home brand, and there's none there, so I'm asking somebody. I'm sure this is because they've just opened up. And, but anyway, we're going to see if we can't get that for $1.75. Be back. Here's the cereal. I think my grandkids like this. I really can't remember what they like. But I think I'm going to get one of the uh, Goline, the one with the strawberry thing, and, uh, and this one. Go lean crunch. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm still excited. I've um, gotten this cereal that's uh, 198. You have to get six boxes, but you get a free gallon of milk. Now we don't really drink milk, but I'm gonna freeze it because I know my grandkids eat cereal. They like cereal. Anyway, here's the deal. See, you, if you buy six, you get them at $198. See the regular price, and they're a great deal. Look at there. So, I ended up getting the Frosted Flakes, the Cheerios, and the Honey Bunches of Boats. So, in Bilo, what you do is find these little stickers, and you have to hunt for them sometimes. But anyway, they're all down through here, just like what they told you on the ad that they would do. All right, we're going to keep shopping. We'll be back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the peanut butter here. Uh, that is the 26-ounce um, Skippy Natural. We put uh, peanut butter in our smoothies a lot, and that looks like a good deal to me. I can't exactly remember the price, but at uh, Walmart, but I'm going to go ahead and get that because I think the $3.99 is probably a great price. So I'm going to go ahead and get three of those. Okay, here we are at the Frozen Foods, and uh, the, this is a Southern Home brand of, uh, that one that's kind of fogged up, of fresh vegetables. And my neighbor years ago told me always get Southern Home brand because they're grown in the south and packed in the south and they're really the best and she was right. 
So they've got chopped collards, French style green beans, butter peas, Crowder peas. What else? Speckled butter beans, field peas with snaps, all of it. All right, now I get the Walmart brand usually, but I might have to try these here. All right, there's all the frozen food section. Remember those guys on the first video? That's the, the uh, different wall decorations that they put up. It looks like the walls have been painted too. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, I forgot to get the oil. I wanted to make sure I got that because $1.88 for 32 ounces. Even though I don't need any oil, I'm going to go ahead and get it because I love the price. And regardless of the brand, oil's oil, right? All right, I'm getting that. Okay, and here's my favorite King Arthur bread flour. And I, it's not on sale or anything, but this is the kind I like when I make homemade bread. So I'm going to go ahead and get that, even though it's not on sale. It's the brand I use, so I'm going to get that. I also need, uh-oh, White Lily's got a bread flour now. Huh. I might even have to try that one too. I think I will. All right, y'all. I'm getting excited here. We'll be back. Okay, they've got the turkeys for 59 cents a pound. And I'm going to go ahead and get my turkeys, uh, my turkey that's not out yet, but the manager's going to bring it. Uh, Sweetie, it's about 14 is, pounds. Is that the one that's a 59 cents? Yes, ma'am. On the bottom of you, take it 59 cents. Okay, great. You know, where's your bucket down here? Right down here. This is a, a zone manager that I spoke with the other day. Anyway, they're still putting stuff up, but it's going really well, really well. Also, are those the... Okay, I'm gonna have to get some of this um, Chuck, wait a minute, no, it's Angus B. Q. Steak value pack. $3.42 or $3.29 a pound. I'm gonna definitely be getting some of that. It looks really good. And I, I've always bought my cube steak from Bilo, so now I can not have to drive to Orangeburg. I can buy it right at home, so I think I'm going to get this pack right here. All right, continuing to shop. I want to show you all this steak over here. Look at the marble. This is Angus beef. All right, we'll be back. Okay, they have got the same brand of frozen baby limas that I use all the time. That is great. All right, and they got the butter peas too. All right, I also went ahead and got some ground turkey. I didn't recognize the brand name, but I went ahead and got it anyway because the manager said it was really good. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I'm ready to check out, and I think I got some super deals. I got my turkey, got the uh, Fieldale chicken, and several things. Well, a lot of things on sale. So, all right, we will see y'all next time. Okay, there's a look at the front of the store. Got their Bilo sign up, and, oh, you can't see it from here, but they got the one up on the street, too. Boy, these people have really worked hard. And I must say, I was quite delighted with everything. Got a whole bunch of stuff on sale. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed your little trip to Bilo. Uh, I was able to get my, my turkey for 59 cents a pound. And um, I got the chicken, the Fieldale chicken, y'all. You know that's the one I love. In fact, that's the only kind of chicken I ever buy. I just, I really don't like any other kind. So anyway, they've got that. They've got all the nice beef. And uh, they've got all the brands we need except for one. And that's my husband's coffee creamer. So that's going to be kind of a disappointment because he needs his coffee in the morning and he needs his type of creamer. So we're going to see if maybe we can get him to switch to another type, maybe, huh? All right, so I'm going to take these groceries on home. I'm very happy with the store. It was super, super clean, and, uh, you know, it's very much like the store in Orangeburg that I would go to, uh, except it's just a little bit smaller. So I got just some super deals here, and I really liked it that they already had the flyer 
up on their website because uh, I looked everything up last night and made my grocery list so they're doing really really good and the people did look very tired in there I could tell they had been working you know many many hours a day to get this store set up and some things still aren't quite there like I couldn't get the uh, I use that um, uh, stuffing mix and I add to it to make my dressing for Thanksgiving but anyway I'm, they said they'll have it in a few days because they've got another truck that'll be coming in so anyway I'll get I'll come back and get that I mean after all it's what just short distance to my home and uh, so anyway we will see y'all next time I hope you enjoyed your little very early morning trip to Bilo we were here at seven o'clock in fact I was the first customer in the store this morning but now the parking lot's pretty well full so I think I did well to come early all right, see y'all next time.